The skies were clear and the weather was warm for this Sunday's Fairmount Arts Crawl. For this year's event, more than 45 businesses were transformed into venues for local artists to meet, greet, and share their work with the public. I had the chance to chat with a few artists about their creations and their inspirations as well. Actually, that began with a pencil sketch. I was riding a bus at night back from Fredericksburg, Virginia to Philadelphia. And this the bus was kind of cold. And this guy was sitting across from me. And he was just so great, I had to do a sketch of him. So I did the pencil sketch and then decided I would like to make a painting out of this. And I had to go back to the Greyhound station to see just what the buses look like and what the bus windows look like. But I got that. I've actually done the Fairmont's Arts, arts Crawl back in 2009 and I have friends of mine that live in the area and I've always liked the, the energy of the city in the Fairmont area so when I found out that the Arts Crawl was going to be in Georgia's studio, and I'm a member of NAN, which is the Fairmont Arts Network, and this is actually our first group show. The wannabes I came up with from coming back from a camp trip, we stopped at a lake, and there was a bird in the lake, and for some reason, a little gerbil in my head on the wheel, whatever reason, thought, eh, would that bird ever want to be an elephant? A zippy friend is a stuffed animal creature um, that totally unzips all the way and inside they're full of guts, organs, uh, intestines, stomach, bladder, lungs, you name it. Full of guts. You know, Philadelphia is really a great place to have something like this because there's so many people in Philadelphia who are looking for things to get them to, uh, you know, to like just experience something outside of like the everyday nine to five work. And, you know, it's, it's really great to have something like this to see that there are people, you know, like Neil and Sandy who own this pottery studio, that this is what they do every single day. Sometimes um, art can be a very closed off world and can be very sort of exclusive and the gallery feeling is a lot is a lot, you know, it's very intimidating and you know draws a very specific crowd. So having something like this that's open to the whole neighborhood and that the showing artwork in um, you know alternative spaces rather than just like the white cube of the gallery is more inviting and attracts a different crowd and um, I think it's just a more relaxed atmosphere because um, not only are you showing amongst your neighbors and friends, but also um, you know just making connections with people that live in your neighborhood that you've never met before. Right, other artists. Being able to uh, you know network and connect with other people that you didn't even know live in Fairmount. But also, I just think it's really chill and a really nice atmosphere. And being born and raised in Fairmount, I just appreciate the fact that I'm able to show. And they were where I grew up.